And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to play World Cities with a population of 100,000 plus, a game by Sebi. We've played this game a couple of times. It's been a couple of weeks, perhaps a couple of months to play at 10,000 plus locations. This is a fun one. We're going to do this as a two minute no move challenge. The play along link will be in the description below. Let's get into it. Let's see where this takes us. And, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so we've got, okay, so perhaps we're in Greece. I think we could be there. Silver something museum. Looks like there's might be snow in the hills, um, which is always interesting. Water to the South, southeast, I guess east, southeast, I should say. Um, something Masta La Vista. Okay. Azora Familia. Okay, so that's interesting. Maybe we're over here. Could we be here? Maybe that's stone and not snow. Maybe more Corfu. Nina, maybe we're over here. Yeah, maybe this is where we are. The castle, this makes sense. This could be, yeah, let's go with that one. There we are. Oh, almost perfect score. Missed it by a point. Uh, just something about Ionina and the Italian put two and two together. So we were there near the, ca I thought near the castle, but uh, the silver smithing museum is what it was. 236 yards, a great first round. We get off the second. And here we've got a fell on the horse in Ropsten. Stadtgarten. Maybe this is a uh, Nordstuhl. So maybe this is a uh, this Stockholm. Maybe. Yep, Stockholm Jazz Fest, that's where we are. Uh, minute 18, this is looking, we're at Google, yes we are. Okay, so we've got... North... Northeast. ships off to the south. Okay, that's south, 34 seconds. Um, Cops gotten maybe. I'm not sure. I can't read that one. Let's just see what this is. Two something two twenty two maybe. Maybe we're like here. Yeah, maybe maybe we're maybe we're here. Yes, five thousand points, fifty two yards on Schlussbrunn near Karl Johann's Torque. And uh the Stockholm Schlussen. So we are cruising along and uh, unit technology for the future. 
and uh, Izuzu, guys waving a flag. We see ourselves, oh, nope, nope, nope. Japan is where we are. Smart time. 23. Matsui. That says, take a look at the trees. <clears throat> okay, so it's winter time, I would presume, right? Guys got gloves on and all that stuff. Uh, trees. Okay, maybe we're a little more southern, perhaps. I don't think, well, what is this? Lions. We're near Toyota. Let's just go there. Nagoya. 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 Could be further south. Um, Kyoto, maybe? Let's go to Kyoto. I hate to change that for my first guess, but I'm going to go there. And no, we're near Tokyo. So we've gone with the obvious one, I guess. 3,833 points, 227 miles. And we were Saitaim. Satima, Satima. Hard time pronouncing. Just stopping. Okay, this feels Australian or New Zealand ish to me. Yep, eight, eight. <laughs> Basketball, yes, this would be. Shut the gate, okay. Don't know my license plates, but we are clearly in either Australia or New Zealand. I'm going to guess by the sign that we're probably in Australia. And... Could be New Zealand too. Um, person looks a little bit confused. 40 seconds. Where should I go? I can't. Do you go with Melbourne? I think we might go with Melbourne. Uh, let's go near Ringwood, Croydon. We are in Sydney. <laughs> Didn't think that wouldn't be that obvious. 3,432 miles. At least got uh, Australia. Um, so not too bad. And we get on to the fifth and final round. and takes us to the United States, most likely Fairview and Maine. Um, taking the west, northwest. Big more auto sales. No, we are probably in Canada. Just House of Shadows. Burnside. No, we are in the United States. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Gresham. Gresham, Washington, perhaps? Is there a Gresham, Washington? Let's just see license plates. Bickmore. Yeah, let's go for Washington. 
see if there's a Gresham. Thirty-five seconds. Graham, uh, no. Hope it's not like, uh, Gresham, there it is, Portland. <laughs> Got it just in time. I knew it was in the Pacific Northwest someplace. I just thought I saw a Washington license plate or whatever with the blue or the color blue, but not too bad. I'm pretty happy it got that one just in the nick of time. Gave enough time to get to Gresham, Oregon. Didn't know about that one. Uh, right outside of Portland, Gresham High School. So let's take a, well, let's go back out. Let's see what we got. 21,838. A couple of those rounds there. Japan and Australia kind of got me a little bit. We're going to do a game breakdown. Um, so, yeah, so started off well, ended up well. Middle average, I would say. Could probably have done a little better. First round of Greece, uh, a couple of the clues. Let's take a look at that. Um, well, why I went to where I went to in Ionina, I knew that this was Greek, right? Knew that we were in Greece you know, with some of this stuff. But I think it was... Azura Familia, and I was going to go, and I just caught my eye on Nina. Saw some, I guess, Italian places on this map when I zoomed in and decided to go there because it looked like it added up pretty well. Uh, so that's how I, uh, why I went that way. The second round was Stockholm. Pretty, I guess, straightforward. It looked like it, like it from the beginning. I just wanted to confirm that it was it, uh, and it was confirmed. When I saw Stockholm Jazz Fest, S T H L M, and I'm surprised not to see any Swedish flags anywhere because usually, for some reason, it's Sweden and Denmark and Norway. I feel like the countries, those countries, fly their flag quite a bit. And in fact, you know, you got Tunisia, Turkey. Comment down below what countries you think flat, fly their flag the most, meaning you'll see it at restaurants or you'll see it at re uh, uh, stadiums or you'll see it uh, down in cities and in, in streets and homes. I know the United States is very patriotic, but uh, name some other countries because I always feel like Sweden, Norway, Denmark have a lot. Tunisia, Turkey, they're there on Skepsbrong in Stockholm. The third round, we went off to Japan, pretty straightforward against the, again, the language, driving on the left-hand side. If we can get the, the signs over here on the left side of the road, if you didn't know, the uh, language, uh, pretty straightforward, the homes. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just uh, got a little off on that one in terms of, I thought it was, uh, how far we were, uh, 227 miles I picked over here at Kyoto. Uh, when in fact it was to Tokyo. Fourth round, Australia just uh, went with the road sign on the left side. It just generally looked Australian. It could have been New Zealand, I guess, with this this look here a little bit. Uh, could be wrong in saying that. And then some of these trees, I guess, it should have been a clue. I think these types of trees you probably find more near Sydney. If somebody's from Australia, comment on that. Uh, what what clues would would lead you to this being uh, Sydney versus Melbourne? Or another one. I'm sure it probably has to do a lot with the flora and the fauna. The fifth round, the last round, we went off to Portland, Oregon. Um, we threw me off with Canada a little bit. And I should have stuck to my guns that it was. Well, here's a speed limit sign here. So I should have seen that because that's a United States speed limit sign and it's 30. Where did I see? Speed 25, I guess. Yeah, I shouldn't even thought about that. It just that doesn't like a speed limit sign in the United States. That's why I thought Canada should have seen the poles, the lights, a lot of clues. I don't even know why I was thinking it was Canada. And why was the Pacific Northwest, uh, quite frankly, were these pines? The pine trees and 
couple, yeah, I mean, just, I think there's pines over here. And the general feel felt uh, Pacific Northwest-ish. And we were, in fact, in Oregon, south of Washington, uh, Gresham. So I just went to uh, decide, I knew that with some of these, the other clue, too, at the United States, Tuesday morning, I don't think exists anymore. Uh, it could. But if you see some of these plazas and shopping centers and this wide boulevards and or road and with office parks, typically, and if you're looking for the Pacific Northwest, uh, with that, uh, again, the trees and stuff, you're going to be kind of in this area, probably off of five. I don't know if you're, this is mountainous and over here, it's going to be a different type of landscape. So if you see that sort of stuff and you see these pine trees, you're probably going to be anywhere from Eugene up to the United States Canadian border. Or you could even be in Vancouver and then you know that your kilometers are hour per hour, et cetera. So anyway, it's a fun game. This was a good one, 21,838. Hopefully you beat me on this one. Hope you had fun playing this one and watching it. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. I want to get to 1,000 subscribers soon. Appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. As always, until next time, cheers.